Get ready for Canada's smartest person. Let's do it. Jesse Crookshank hosts a new series that puts a spin on the way we think about smart. A head-to-head -head competition looking to crown the country's brightest mind. Yeah. Spoiler alert, it's not me. And there isn't really a crown. There's no trivia, no book smarts. Just mind-mending challenges in six categories of intelligence. Canada's smartest person. Think about it. Sunday at 8 on CBC. Being smart has never been this fun. A home in the upscale neighborhood of Manor Park is generating a lot of buzz. The house is on the market for free. But you guessed it, there's a catch. Ashley Burke explains. The doors open bright and early to potential buyers, all eager to scope out this three-bedroom, two-bathroom home filled with items for sale. Everything, light fixtures, doors, you name it. Even the artwork from the kids made right behind you. It's a bargain hunter's paradise. Some even dug up the garden to score free plants. But the big ticket item is the house itself. It's free if you pay to move it off the property. You know what, if I had property, I would, I'd carry this house on my back. I tell you that right now. A photographer owns the home and is away in Paris. She loves the property but wanted more space for her family of four. The cost to renovate, though, was through the roof. Uh, how about $20? $20? So her friend, a professional home organizer, is helping her find someone to lift up and move the home so they can build a new one and save more than $10,000 tearing it down. So I would hate to see this home get bulldozed and into the landfill, and I'd like to give everybody an opportunity to make their day. The ad went up online just days ago, and already more than 700 people have responded, saying they're interested in either the contents inside or the entire house. Suman Mann owns a piece of land in Orleans and is thinking about making an offer to move the house. She renovates homes for a living. It's a passion to save what we can, to use what we can and to discard just the things which are totally, totally useless. But moving a house like this isn't cheap. It would have to be divided into two, then moved using large trucks. That can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Potential buyers have until October 15th to move the home or else it will be knocked down. Do Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa. Nice.